Hi friends, this is Dr. Sujata Naik. Let's continue the series Lesser Used Gems of Materia Medica. Today we talk of Lobelia inflata or the Indian tobacco plant. Uh, the name is deceptive, it has got nothing to do with India. It is a plant that is extensively grown in the east part of North America and some parts of Canada. It is a widely used herbal remedy for all kinds of coughs, for bronchitis, for asthma, for pneumonia and for diarrhea. Its root is extremely poisonous and uh, the alkaloid lobelin is a pneumogastric or a vagus nerve depressant and causes widespread respiratory. It has an action on uh, the mucus lining, the lining of the respiratory tract, of the skin and of the, of the GI tract. Uh, and it causes cough and dyspnea with difficulty in expectoration and intense nausea. The homeopathic application was widely proved by Dr. Clark and you can see an extensive treatise on Lobelia inflata in his Materia Medica. Lobelia inflata of late has been very very useful as a homeopathic remedy in recent times especially in COVID. We have seen it's, uh, it's been very very useful in COVID pneumonia as well even in long COVID when the patient's cough just doesn't seem to go away. The cough with severe dyspnea with nausea which is intense just like uh, just like ipecac but there is also vomiting in this and vomiting which does not relieve there is so much of uh, respiratory weakness so much of languor of the respiratory muscles that the patient is just not able to cough fully he feels that if he expectorates if he vomits he might feel better but he's just not able to because of the weakness of the respiratory muscles so it has a lot of use in uh, asthma in long-standing asthma patients who are dependent on bronchodilators sometimes on steroids and these uh, drugs sometimes don't have an action because they are uh, physically dependent on them and they do not seem to help them anymore uh, sometimes when a patient comes to you with a difficulty in cough and uh, in, in extreme dyspnea, his regular inhaler has not helped him. You have given him all the indicated remedies including including antimony tart, arsenic album, carbo wedge, grindelia, spongia and none of these remedies seem to have helped him. Think about lobelia inflata when the cough is difficult to expect, expectorate, when there is a lot of constriction of the chest, when there is acute dyspnea with a desire to bring out the mucus this is very very marked of lobelia and the nausea that is accompanied with it with extreme weakness lobelia a few doses you know give it in slightly lower potencies because it's a clinically proven drug you do not give it as an exact similimum you can give lobelia 30 or maybe 12 c try not to use the mother tinctures you want to use the homeopathic applications and to avoid any kind of adverse e effects so use the 12C or the 30C potency, give a couple of doses in quick succession and you might actually see the difference. Uh, it may also help the indicated remedy which comes later to help act better. Another very surprising use in recent times which we have also experienced is the use of Lobelia inflata in psoriasis because it also affects the lining of the skin, the epidermis as well as the dermis and it helps in reducing the desquamation, the inflammation of the psoriatic patches. And again, as I mentioned earlier, you can use it as a remedy when you reach a stalemate, when the indicated remedy, when the similimum does not seem to act and you've tried everything, you took the case, retook the case and uh, use a few doses of lobelia. Of course, the keynotes must be there is about the constricted feeling when the skin feels dry and constricted and uh, there is extreme weakness which always goes with the lobelia patient. So use it even in psoriasis with these keynotes and then see the difference. The, you can give the patient immediate relief and you can follow it up with the constitutional remedy later. Thank you.